Let's now talk about Senator Bernie Sanders and a little bit about the blame game. Senator Bernie Sanders has dropped the hammer, issuing a blistering critique against Democrats for the electoral bloodbath that took place this week, losing the White House, losing the Senate, although Bernie got reelected. We don't yet know about the House, but it's not looking good. Now, Bernie's diagnosis is clear and it is stark. Democrats abandoned working people. So working people have abandoned Democrats. When average people look at Democrats, long the party that has claimed to be about working people and labor and they don't see it, they will go and vote Trump or at least some of them will. I can sit here and tell you the Democrats defend unions and labor and Republicans don't. Unemployment is lower under Democrats. Job creation is higher under Democrats. Inflation is lower under Democrats. GDP growth is higher under Democrats. I could do this until my head is blue and it might be turning blue, although maybe that's just my background. But if people don't believe it, it doesn't matter. And we saw this with more Latino voters than before, more black voters than before. Many groups still favoring Democrats in some cases, but not by as great a margin as before. Now, I know that many of you will react by saying, wait a second, Trump's even worse for working people. And you'd be right. But at a certain point, it doesn't matter if you haven't been giving me what I believe I need. I'm going to try someone else, even if they also aren't going to give it to me, even though recently we've seen wages outpace inflation inequality decline a little bit. Overall, we still have massive economic inequality, wages that long term are stagnant, and 60 percent of the country is living paycheck to paycheck. Bernie is also sounding the alarm that if the current Democratic strategy isn't working, it's going to fail even harder in the future if you don't adjust, especially pointing to threats from technology, AI and the effect on displacing workers or even killing jobs that AI may well have. Bernie talks about this. Bernie also notes that Democrats have not secured affordable health care for everyone. Now, of course, Obamacare did a lot. Obamacare, which now is 14 years in the rearview mirror, went a long way towards securing some health care for more people, but not affordable and not for all. Even though Democrats are the party of the working family, Bernie points out that big money interests still play almost as big a role in the Democratic Party as the Republican Party. The consultants, the strategists who are totally disconnected from grassroots issues and economic justice. My reaction to this is essentially Bernie is absolutely correct in his diagnosis, and it's not logical to vote for Trump because Trump would be even worse on these issues. But the proof that it's not working for Democrats is the proof from this week's election results, which are a complete and total bloodbath. And, you know, it's funny working people, right? Trump laughed with Elon Musk on that Twitter spaces about firing workers who choose to strike. Just fire them and bring in scabs. They laughed about it joyfully. Trump won't protect working people. But once you decide, damn, the Democrats aren't really doing enough either, you go and you try Trump or you stay home and the stay home is critical. Joe Biden had 81 million votes in 2020. As of this moment, right, they're still counting, but I see as of this moment, Kamala Harris has 69.1 million votes. That's a nearly 12 million vote decline from Biden to Harris. Now, I don't agree with it. I wouldn't do it, but I get that a slice of voters will. So what I would do the next two years while the Republican Party has the White House and the Senate and maybe the House, we don't know yet. Focus on the pocketbook issues in a way that isn't patronizing and that also doesn't mince words. Make it clear. Democrats are the ones who fight to improve wages and lower prescription drug costs and make life affordable. Highlight when those things don't happen, thanks to Republicans even though just about every economic metric improved under Joe Biden, Republicans still pointed to where it wasn't perfect and said it's Joe Biden's fault and it worked. So what Democrats need to do is now that Republicans are going to control most or all of House, Senate and White House point to Republicans 
when they fail to do what they promise to do. Point to Republicans when they obstruct and get in the way of actually doing the things that would be good for these working people. Double down on some of these economic policies like, hey, maybe we need fair taxes here uh, for the wealthy. Maybe we need a tax code that actually supports working families. And you've got to distinguish yourself from what we are about to get. What more can you do? Right. I mean, in, as I said earlier, we have to let the consequences of Trumpism hit people. And that's what we talked about earlier. Bernie's diagnosis is essentially correct. The solution is tougher. And one of the solutions, this is wild. One of the solutions a record number of Americans are seeking is to leave the United States. I want to talk about that next. Those who follow me on social media may be familiar with my dad's dog, Nemo Pacman. Like me, Nemo Pacman has no middle name. Uh, and that's why I love our sponsor, Ollie. It's clean, fresh nutrition for your dog in five flavors your dog will love. You don't need to be a veterinary nutritionist to know that feeding your dog real whole foods with minimal processing is one of the best choices for their health. No harmful fillers, preservatives. Ollie is made in the US in American kitchens using ingredients sourced from trusted growers and producers around the world. You fill out Ollie's 30 second quiz. They'll do a customized meal plan based on your dog's weight, activity level and other health considerations for first time customers. Ollie sends your dog's first box with two weeks of meals and a guide for switching them gradually to the new food. Ollie offers three plans to choose from. There's the fresh plan, the fresh topper plan or the mixed plan. Right now, you'll get 60 percent off your first box when you go to Ollie.com and enter the code Pacman. They even offer a clean bowl guarantee. If you're not completely satisfied with the first box, you get your money back. The link is in the description.